welcome to Metabo Launch. This is a class that I put together over the course of the last two years after I changed my life. I call it Metabo Launch because it's not, a, it's not just simply a way to lose weight, it's a way to actually launch your metabolism, thus the name, creating a fast metabolism. Later in this series of videos, we'll explain how every diet known to man crushes metabolism. Well, I don't like the word diet. This is not a diet. This is the way of life. I came up with this content after three years ago, I read a book. This book was called The Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fung. And it's a very thick wordy book on basically hormone science, biochemistry, endocrinology, and how it relates to weight loss and weight gain. Um, <clears throat> this book, like I said, changed my life. I actually come from a, a background, a very religious background, where I never drank alcohol, I never did any kind of drugs, tobacco, anything like that, till, till later in my life, till I was 33. And those of you that know, the human body is always going to indulge. So you take away one thing, they're gonna overindulge on another. I am a, a self-proclaimed foodie. I freaking love food. I've always loved the gym, I've gone to the gym for 27 years. It's a passion of mine. My hero was Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I didn't really care about losing the weight. I was just a big, strong bull, if you will. So there's been very few times in my life where I was leaner. Um, I always felt like I had a very slow metabolism. I used to make a joke that uh, I could smell a donut and gain half a pound. And I, I, I honestly believed that, that I had a very slow metabolism. I thought I was doomed to be heavy my whole life. <clears throat> As I started to get into the world of drinking alcohol at 33, I started making some observations about people. One of those observations is, is alcoholism and how people that are quote unquote alcoholics, they almost can't control their, their needs and their urges and they may be doing so great but one little thing derails them and before you know it they're in a gutter somewhere drunk you know, getting hauled off by the police. <clears throat> Some of those same compulsions that drive people to drink and keep drinking and not be able to stop, I had those same compulsions. And when I, when, I, when I got this book, truth be told, I was trying to find something to cure my brain. How many of you guys have had the experience where you're, you're dieting, maybe you've had a, a good week or a couple good weeks or even a couple good days, you've had a good day, it gets late in the evening, you pass the, the pantry and just devour a box of cereal at 10 o'clock at night. And all the guilt and shame and, and frustration that follow that because you just come off a great day, you worked out, you exercised, you ate good food, and then you threw it all away right at the end of the day. That's where I felt like I had similar traits and characteristics as an alcoholic but with food. And when I read this book and I studied it, I learned that I wasn't necessarily wrong. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I kind of came up with some, some of my own philosophies on addiction. And I personally don't believe that there really is a such thing as an alcoholic or a foodaholic or a sexaholic or something to that effect. Because at the end of the day, everything we do, whether it's eating, drinking, or other behaviors, even as far as watching too much TV or procrastinating and putting off problems, usually all of those things are hormonally inspired actions. Not only are they hormonally inspired, but once we perform, we eat those foods, we, you know, we do those drugs, we, do, we drink that alcohol, there's actually a hormonal response. So we're actually being urged to do things by our hormones, and then we're being, there, there's, there's consequences, both good and bad, hormonally, because of those things. And that <clears throat> was really the fascinating thing to me. I studied this book, I learned about it, and I felt like I'd figured it out. I'd understood why I was overweight and how I could lose it and keep it off the rest of my life. Well, I was working out with a workout partner, and, and one day, my partner said, I'm doing this weight loss competition. It's for a $50,000 prize. It starts tomorrow. It's an eight week challenge. Do you want to do it with me, man? It sounds like fun. And I went, yeah, I want to do it, man, but I'm not doing it for fun. 
I'm doing it to win. I'm going to win this whole freaking competition. And that's where it all began for me. I, I did this eight week challenge, body transformation. There was over 10,000 people in the country signed up for this, this contest. And I ended up coming in second place. I lost 45 pounds in 56 days. I changed my life. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. After which I still became, I was still basically obsessed with biochemistry, hormone science, and I continued down the journey. I actually lost another 15 pounds between 56 and 90 days to total 60 pounds in 90 days. Uh, many of you have seen the before and after photos. I'm very proud of those photos, but I'm even more proud of the fact that I still look like those after photos today. During this challenge, there was a lot of social media buzz. It was a big promotional thing. And there was a lot of haters, a lot of trolls out there. And, and I'd read their comments on some of the postings and they'd say, oh, easy, uh, easy off, easy on. He'll gain it all right back. And you know what? <clears throat> most of those people would be right in most situations. But the difference is I changed my life and I learned how to actually go from having a slow metabolism to a fast metabolism. This book, it explains every diet that's been successful through, through all of time, whether it be uh, um, Atkins or keto or, or cleanses or mainly calories in, calories out, that whole you know, math equation, and how long they work, why the diet works, and when's it gonna stop working, and what happens to your metabolism after it stops working. And it's so compelling. And the only diet, like I said, I hate that word, that is sustainable, helps you lose the weight for, and it keeps working, as well as actually raising your metabolism, is intermittent fasting. Many of you have heard of this. It's kind of a trend. It's, it's, it's a fad right now. But there's so much more to, to the science of it. And that's what I want to teach you in this, uh, this series of, of classes is the science, the chalkboard talk, the organs, the, the hormone secretion, how it all works, and how to manipulate your hormones naturally. <clears throat> At Alpha Male Clinic here, we sell medications, we give people an edge, we do TRT, hormone replacement. That's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about manipulating your hormones naturally through intermittent fasting. It's an amazing, amazing course. Looking forward to diving into the science with you. Be prepared to learn, write, take notes. It's a very, very specific science. There's a difference between not eating and fasting. One reason why intermittent fasting works forever and is the number one method of anti-aging, it's because it greatly increases growth hormone. Growth hormone is the fountain of youth. Well, you want higher growth hormone? You need to learn intermittent fasting, and that's what we're going to talk about more and more in this segment, okay? Thanks for listening. Tune in.